Hello, this is Dr. Martina, your online sex therapist and sex educator. Yes, you can learn about your sexuality. I keep saying that over and again, and I will continue to say that. Sex is an activity that can be and must be learned. Now, you need two things for that in order to learn that. One is a board-approved, certified sexologist, one that studied sexual human behavior and can give you the sex education that you deserve and require and you already have that in me. And the second thing is something that you need to bring to the table and that is sexual hope. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. I listened to a podcast the other day from Tara Brock who is a Buddhist teacher, meditation teacher, she's a psychologist, she's an author, she has some great books out there and um, I love listening to her and she talked about spiritual hope. And while I was listening and I realized that there's such a thing as sexual hope and that it is exactly that that's missing when people are giving up on their sexuality, when people get stuck behind um, sexual challenges that they cannot overcome by themselves, when they give up on a fulfilling sexual life. So Tara breaks down the elements of hope quite nicely. She says the first element of hope is a sense of aspiration of what is possible. And the second element of hope is the willingness to put energy behind that possibility, put energy towards that goal. So if we're looking at the elements of sexual hope the same way, then we can say that the first element of sexual hope is a sense of desire of possibilities as a sexual being. A trust in our potential to be sexually free. That's the first element of sexual hope. Now, suppose you have a sense of this potential. In that case, it can bring you into your bodily awareness. It can make you open to receiving your body's pleasure and it can call forth the best of you regarding your relationship with your sexuality. That sense of hope and trust allows you to manifest the fullness of who you are sexually. So then the second element of sexual hope is a willingness to put energy towards, let's say, learning more, being closer to your sexuality, being more connected with your body, and being non-judgmental about your sexuality, being proud and not ashamed of what you feel or don't know about your sexuality. So when you live with sexual hope, you have an aspiration to fulfill your potential as a sexual being, and that's a beautiful thing. Tara says that this kind of aspiration is based on seeds already here. Since we're born, the seeds of sexuality have been with us. Seeds of creativity, love, curiosity, excitement, and admiration for our bodies. And of course, with that comes the sense that it is possible to reach our potential as a sexual being. So sexual hope has both, a desire for that sense of possibility and a dedicated energy behind it. And underneath that is that there's a trust in life, there's a trust in love, a trust that your sexuality belongs to you and that it is okay to experience your sexuality the way you want to, to enjoy it, to celebrate it. Now for a lot of us that is an uphill battle, so if you need any help with connecting with your with that potential of your sexuality and connecting with that beautiful power and energy of sexual hope, I'm here for you. Connect with me and reach out. So here is to sexual hope and your journey to a more fulfilling sex life. Have a great